Hey adventurers, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Jenda, and this is my let's play of Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode, we actually activated the White Forge for good, released the Dwarf Souls, and we are now leaving Durgan's Battery. We're going to go wrap some quests up in Stalwart and bring an end to the White March Part 1. Now? Time you stepped out of Durgan's battery and into the new snow outside, word had already spread of strange lights rising from the fortress, an energy crackling in the sky. The survivors of Starward flocked to Durgan's battery, their steps hastened by the promise of peace and prosperity at last. They mended their walls, gathered their strength, and prepared their town for the new opportunities that were sure to come. And with the voices of Durgan's battery silent at last, None heard the distant groan of something stirring among the peaks, as massive and relentless as an avalanche. Oh. We pissed off whatever destroyed Durgan's battery in the first place, didn't we? Well, deal with that later. I'm guessing that's White March. Yep, we have completed White March 1. We've got to leave and come back to start White March 2, which will actually be... A little later. Um, we're gonna head home and head to deal with more quests back in the uh, main game before we. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, down the stairs. Deal with more quests from the main game before we take on White March 2. But we should head to Stalwart and uh, report in first. the White Forge. Been 200 years since folks set foot in Durgan's Battery. Now you've cracked the place wide open, and with quite the display. Thanks to your help, we just might pull through. You've done a lot. She shakes your hand. And here, I've been saving these. Some of the last gems we recovered before we had to close the mines. With any luck, we'll have them open again soon. She gives you a small pouch. Gemstones twinkling inside. Well, glad I could help. So are we. But I'm hoping you'll make use of the White Forge, too, if you haven't already. She nods at you. After all, it doesn't get much better than dirk and steel. If you can forge some into your existing gear, you'll have a powerful set of equipment in your hands. So what happens now for Stalwart? Now, it's up to us to use this opportunity to pull ourselves back together. She folds her arms. She frowns. I'm still not pleased about having Berrigan's clan a stone's throw from our gates, but I'll have to hope that your deal with her holds. We'll just have to hope Taina pushes along a few more years. She once knew a lot about mining, but she's starting to go. Running Guild taps her head. She lowers her voice. To be honest, I didn't really think anyone could open the battery. It just gave folks something to hope for. But I'm starting to hope. The White Forge could turn things around for us if we're able to make use of it before some dear wooden noble stakes a claim out here. What's on your mind? All right, fair enough. Mr. Sonnenberg. You really did it. You found the White Forge. Now to see what it really does for this place. He glances at Running Guild. Well, I mean, it's pretty legendary apparently, so, you know, it'll probably help your economy out quite a bit. Surely? Okay, any other quests from this area that I need to uh, deal with? The Forgotten Army. That also rather hints that it's the people that destroyed Durgan's Battery in the first place that are going to be the problem in uh, White Forge 2. Let's see. That is all... That's not even an area I found or could access. It must be from White March 2. Uh, let's see. Really, the only thing we can clearly potentially do is this, but we'll leave that for later, too. 
Oh yeah, we should search the fishery at night. Yeah, oh, who am I supposed to report in? Tildor. Hey, Tildor. Missed love, the sisterhood of the slaked skull is dead. He grins. Kind of ironic, isn't it? She went around killing people for Barath, and in the end, that's what... Oh, never mind. Just take the bounty. He passes you a bag that rattles with coin. Sweet. 3,000 copper. I'm going to level up for everybody. Now I should talk to... A hopeless battle was waged in Durgan's battery. They seemed to know that their deaths had come, yet many fought on. Um... All, uh, all men fight who fear death. This was not fear, not all of it. Some made a stand together. They believed in a cause that would outlive them, and so they stayed true to it. They might have made great Dalpazka warriors, if only they had been born to Khan. Fair enough. Salmon here. Among the kind wayfarers, in the event that a member of the Order dies of natural causes, it's customary for the Paladin to request burial in a dangerous place that's difficult to reach. In fulfilling their lost comrades' request, the other kind wayfarers forge new paths that others may more easily follow. When the elder Paladin Adram Delphar died, his brothers and sisters set out for Red Flower Lake in a remote eastern path of Rahad Saris, but they never reached their destination. With so few kind wayfarers left in that part of the Eastern Reach, the Orders reached out for assistance in recovering their comrades and helping see them to their resting place. Okay, um... No, Palagina's a paladin, why don't she deal with it? Also, we finished another uh, upgrade, so let's, um... Training grounds. Okay. Let's level everybody up. I will take... Literally can't get more lore. I was kind of giving myself more survival in hopes of getting damage reduction too, I think. Well, maybe I should just save it so I can get more lore, actually. Yeah. Okay, I can take another one of these. Um, Gaze the Adrian Foe AoE Petrifying. That's pretty good, potentially. This days is seconds and paralyzed, uh, but random. This does a ton of pierce damage to anything immediately around me with a lot of DR bypass. That could be pretty nice. This is an ice spike in an AoE. Let's grab this. Self defense. Uh, okay, um... Makes Blast stronger. I do use that a lot still. Or we could gain a bonus spell. Let's just take a bonus spell. Sagani. Um, look, we just need even more mechanics out of her, frankly. She doesn't even have Athletics 1. I thought she did. Let's see here. Plus 10 accuracy on wounding shot. Or something else. That's kind of nice. Let's 
Let's grab this, maybe. Okay, Hater. Um, let's just save up to get him more athletics. Fences. Sure. Frenzy, huh? Nice. Alright, let's take that, yeah. That was pretty simple. Sahua. I'm sure take more survival. Oh, that's not necessarily great. This would actually be better. Let's grab that. In fact, somebody else. That's pretty good. Somebody else should probably get that. Right too. here. Devil. Um, well, probably focus on keeping the mechanics maxed because I've pretty much yet to see the stealth actually be very useful. Unless the whole party was going to try to stealth. That's not bad. That seems in character. Let's take that. Okay. I'm Good here for everybody. And now, actually, we should. Certainly. It's night. Let's check the fishery out. That's the one quest I guess we can still do here. Right. Aside for mending. Dead eyes of speckleback, iron tooth pike, and frost diver fish gaze up at you. These roasting fish provide much of the pungent odor permeating the fishery. Barrel with a bracelet. Oh, reach into the barrel and find a bracelet. A thick aura of essence clings to it, fresh with memory. You feel yourself drawn into it. Memory, you stride into the fishery. The floors are swept clean, but the wood is still splotched with snow melt and fish guts. A man hunkers in the corner, his head nodding forward as if in sleep. He looks up drowsily as you approach. It's grinned. His face is, you face is youthful but sallow, and his hair hangs in stringy locks. You feel a pang of anger and pity at your brother's debauchery. Arda. His voice is little more than a croak. It's past midnight. Your throat feels tight. Grind wipes at his nose, then examines the mingled blood and powder on the back of his hand. He shrugs. Your fingers clench around chorus thick fabric, your father's best wool cloak tucked under your arm. Go. Teray and Saris or Defiance Bay or fucking Iron Glonfoth, I don't care. You hurl it at the ingrate huddled on the floor. He picks up the cloak and looks at it with the same sort of dull wonder. He wipes his nose on the lining. A sudden rush of fury leaves your limbs weak and raw. I'll tell them. Mayor Sina healed. The neighbors. Everyone. You force the words through your teeth. About what? He mumbles, churning his words from a morass of snot and saliva. About losing a golden duke? The stealing. You think I haven't noticed the money missing from the fishery coffers? Or heard Tana talk about losing a golden duke? You whisper, afraid even now that someone will overhear you and the words scorch your throat. For a few bags of ripple sponge. 
You can't be found for this work to do, but every time those merchant wagons roll into town, you've got coin enough for a few bags of ripple sponge. No, it's not. Grint blinks back at you. He rubs his red-rimmed eyes. Your own grow warm and blurry. Stalwart tolerates your sponge habit, but they won't abide your thieving. You touch your bracelet, a gift from Mother, plucking at the beads. You won't. He rises, steadier on his feet than you would have thought. I will. You stride toward him. I wouldn't have shamed Mother and Father while they was living, but I won't let this keep up. Your anger swallows the last of your pity. Anger at him for putting you in this position, for doubting your resolve, for failing to see. You're close enough to smell his stale, sour breath when he pushes you. You fall, watching his widening eyes and the ceiling spinning into your vision. Isn't this just like him? Grinned with his fool tantrums, never thinking of anybody but himself, and now you're going to be nursing a headache for a week. Just goes to show you can't help some people, but you remember him too. Your baby brother running through the snow, slipping, falling on ice, and you're slipping, falling, and there's a table behind you, but it shouldn't... The memory ends abruptly, jolting you back into the present with your heart hammering and your palms sweating. Oh shit, Grint murdered his sister. By accident, probably, sort of, but damn. The fishery door creaks open and in walks Grin, staring at you and the bracelet in surprise and outrage. His face drains of color. You take shelter in our village and then ransack it like a common thief? You'd better explain yourself! His voice shakes as to his wide, squared shoulders. Well, Galvino told me you were a ripple sponge addict. Turns out you're also a murderer. Isn't that nice? Any who put stock in the ravings of that bitter old fool deserve all the trouble they get. He raises his voice, half turning to the guard with him. You killed your sister Arda right here in this room. He opens his mouth to reply, but the words catch in his throat. The guard next to him stares at the bracelet, recognition turning to horror. Worth coming back for this alone. It was an accident. I was a failure and a wretch then. But I, I never would have killed anyone. Least of all my own kin. He turns his gaze down, offering his apology to his own clenched fist. Oh gee, you were so fucking high that you didn't even uh, notice or intend to kill her? Well that's, it's all excused then. Perfectly acceptable, bastard. Can you expect me to believe something like that? I gave her body to the lake, but I kept her bracelet to remember the cost of my own weakness. He loosens his hands and stares at the emptiness in his leathery palms. I ain't asking for forgiveness. I know I don't deserve any. My penance is my work on behalf of the village, and they need it truly. Heard that one before. You've seen the shape this place is in. Have mercy on Stalward, if not on me. Well, fun fact, actually, due to the timing of this quest, I've already saved the village. They don't really need you that much anymore. Let me do the work Arda would have done. That's my debt to Stalward, and the only fitting way to honor my sister. He looks up at you, his eyes bright and clear. Uh, I... Hmm. Okay, this is of course one of those cases where it doesn't really do any good to anybody to kill him. But he's kind of scum. Let's be honest. Um, although maybe he did kick the ripple sponge addiction. Isn't there a guard standing here? You know what? No, no, you can't get away with this. Shame. Was counting on you to do some good around here. What, the guards are gonna also attack us? I kinda thought the guards were gonna... ...be a little concerned about the whole murdering his sister thing, but alright. Guess we just kill four people now. This is not really the way I wanted to do this, but oh well. Lock sure. Hurl a fireball into the building. Well, that was probably not optimal. I'd be glad to. Uh, you know, in my defense, I said I was going to turn him in, and he was instantly prepared to murder six people in order to cover it up. So. 
I know it's kind of a game mechanic thing, but uh, that feels to me like he wasn't all that sorry. You see what I'm saying there? He went straight to lethal force. Kind of feel like if he was actually reformed, he would have uh, not done that. All right, back to Katanua. And we've got a lot of selling and re-equipping and probably more leveling to do. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. Uh, I've lost reputation with Star. Oh, do I have to turn that into... Yeah, okay, well, we'll do that later. For now, we will call that the end of White March Part 1. So, thank you very much to everybody who's been watching through that. For now, we are going to do a shopping episode, and then, then I'll end it for today. And we're going to adjust the party again. an easy way to do it while I'm here. I forget. Just have to camp. No, that's not it. Blast it. Ah, it's like this, okay. Okay, let's get um Farewell. Very well. My companions are we up to eleven? Dang. Hey. Okay. Let's get what I would do oh, right. No. 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 Okay. Wait for her to come back. Ready, watcher. Um, sure. Let's get what I would call pretty much the core party in here. Level. Thanks for watching, adventurers. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, adventurers. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.